5 at 5. Coverage you can count on. Some Albuquerque firefighters feel lives were put in danger over a dramatic last-minute staffing change. Usually four firefighters man each engine, but news just came down that some stations would be cut short. Action 7 News reporter Regina Reese talked to firefighter union leaders who call this a serious concern. Up until Sunday morning, they had a high-quality service that was a standard for this, this nation, and we dropped that. And it should have not been dropped to three-person engine companies. Firefighter union leaders feel the city of Albuquerque residents deserve better. Better than a last-minute shift to three-man fire engines at some stations over the weekend. I'm concerned about us being able to continue to provide top-notch EMS service to the citizens of Albuquerque. With three instead of four firefighters on a truck, union leaders feel it adds pressure. It's really adds to the uh, to the stress level of the job and the emergency. Plus they say stations didn't get notice. To just all of a sudden this day we're gonna act as if we train this way. The union feels it's critical to have all four firefighters on the engine responding. That's because the first firefighter will be dropped off at the hydrant to hook up the hose. The other three will head one to two blocks down to the house that's on fire. Once a fire truck gets to the house on fire, like this one was yesterday, you have one firefighter getting the hose from the hydrant to the truck. You have the driver who's connecting the hose to the truck, and then you have a lieutenant in the front yard who's assessing the fire. Union leaders point out all of firefighter training is with four firefighters on a truck, not three. These are, are similar to like a playbook that a, a, a football team would have. So we practice and practice and practice these plays. So when we do get these emergencies, we're very proficient at it. Now the union will fight to ensure an engine always has four firefighters on it. This union is going to use every resource possible, uh, collectively and otherwise, to make sure that this never happens again. The union plans to meet with the fire chief and his deputies tomorrow. Some firefighters I talked to off camera told me this all had to do with the fire department not wanting to pay overtime when someone calls in sick. Back to you. The Albuquerque Fire Department says the chief is aware of what happened. He was busy today, but will do an interview tomorrow to address the concerns. Albuquerque police say they uncovered a child abuse case after a man was attacked in his front yard. Police say Jessica Garcia and three others attacked a man.